Or as a matter of fact, in the 15th verse, maybe of the sixth chapter. So the wall was finished in the 20 and fifth day of the month, Elad, in 50 and two days. In 52 days, the wall was built. In 52 days, the gates were restored. And I've got some messages coming up talking about the gates. In 52 days time, now if they had believed the enemy, they would have thought, the enemy would have told them, it's going to take too long. You can't do it. It can't be done. You're not going to get there. It's going to fall down. If they had believed the enemy, 52 days would have come and gone, and they still wouldn't have had a wall. But here in 52 days time, even with the enemy fighting them, somebody will say, even with the enemy fighting in 52 days time, even with Sam Ballard trying to interrupt the progress of the wall building and Tobiah trying to interrupt the wall going up and Geshem trying to stop them along the way, even with all of the interference, you ought to know within yourself that if God is with you, this is what the Bible says, he is more the world against you. And in 52 days time, the wall was rebuilt. Time for the celebration. How many of us have lost out because we've given up because we thought it's impossible, it's not going to be done, it's going to take too long, you know, I don't want to do it. I have done things in my life, you know, that where I have convinced myself, oh, that's going to take too long. And I decide to let that go. And then afterward, I look back and I say, you know what? If I had done that, when I started to do it, I'd be finished. Yeah. Amen. One evening, my husband was at work, you know, and, and uh, yeah, it was a work day. He was at work, and I had a room in my home that I decided needed painting right then, that moment. Amen. And so I had the paint, I had the brush, you know, years had passed. I went and got the can, opened it up, took my brush, took my roller, and in the space of a couple of hours, I had painted the entire room, not only once, but even twice. You know, because it was a warm day, it dried, and I painted the room, Sister Toya. It was done. And I said to myself, I let all that time pass when I could have had it done. My husband came home and looked at the room. When did you do that? Oh, just a little while ago. A little while ago? Yeah, a couple of hours before you came home. I just decided I was going to paint it. You painted the room. Well, guess who sits in the room regularly? <laughs> now, he's got his own space sitting in that beautiful painted room that only took me a couple of hours. I painted that room wall to ceiling. Did an excellent job. Better than any brother I know. <laughs> Amen. Because I didn't leave paint on the floor. I didn't have I didn't have to clean up the mess I made because I didn't make one. And I'm not coming over your house to paint. <laughs> but the benefit, the benefit of it is every time I walk into that room. I feel something inside of me that makes me feel so happy and so glad. Amen. Those of you that have labored, those of you that have worked, I want you to know that there are benefits to your labor. Whether it is spiritual or even in the natural, there are benefits 
to your labor. I've been taught, and I believe it to be true, because the Bible supports it, that God does not desire for us to be lazy. God wants workers. Amen. And when the Lord sought his disciples, he sought people who were workmen. People who were workers. Amen. And that's why when they came over to the Lord's side, it was easy for them to continue to work. Because they were workers. The songwriter says we will work till Jesus comes. <laughs>